The Twelve Days of Christmas The Rebuttal Dear my true love, let me start by saying that I truly appreciate all you've given me for Christmas. You have an enormous heart, and I can only imagine the amount of effort you must have gone through to give me all of these interesting gifts. However, there are a few things that I think you overlooked. Sure, I love you, and God knows I count myself lucky that I have someone who remembers to get me something for Christmas when many people have significant others who always forget. But for the love of nativity, could you please try to think a little more before you buy something for me? I mean, the first day was nice, a partridge in a pear tree. It was cute, and fresh pears will be nice. Then came the turtle doves. Still nice, not sure what to do with them, but okay. Then came more birds, and more birds, and yet even more birds. By the fourth day alone, I had a grand total of four calling birds, six French hens, six turtle doves, and four partridges. And little would I know that this was only the tip of the iceberg. I've got so many swans, geese, and assorted fowl that my entire existence is now centered around bird crap. I haven't taken my shoes off in days out of fear, not to mention the endless amounts of squawking, chirping, and honking that now infest my airspace. Then came the people. Where the heck did you get people? Seriously. It's not like they came by, performed, and then left. They are still freaking here and still performing. My God, I mean, did you rob a farm and kidnap Cirque du Soleil? I wouldn't mind the people being here if they would help clean up the crap, but no. The lords keep a leaping and ladies dancing right through the endless excrement, causing it to spread to every inch of my house. And then there's the maids of milking. Well, they just had to have something to milk, didn't they? Half of them have cows, the other have goats. So now we have a foul livestock crap casserole stewing all about my abode. And did you even screen the pipers piping? Most of them are hardcore stoners, and naturally they never cease their piping. They keep using all the crap to, go, to grow more weed, and with all the noise from the animals and the smell, it's only a matter of time before someone calls the cops and I go to jail for possession with intent to distribute. Then the rings. Honey, those were very thoughtful, and I'm sure they were very expensive, but did you really think it was necessary to get me 40 of them? I know you are aware that I wear gloves to conceal my 11th finger, but still you reached bling overkill by the third day of giving me rings. I've been selling them to one of those gold buying places since the second day because I've needed the money because out of all the things you got me, you forgot feed. I've been trying my damnedest to keep all these freaking birds and people alive, but I finally reached the end of my rope and started eating the birds. I ate a swan last night, honey. A swan. Yes. Do you understand that? I took one of nature's most beautiful creatures, lopped off its perfectly shaped head, plucked out its glorious silken feathers, shoved it in the oven, and then sat down to eat it with a slew of pipers with the munchies. As soon as I get through all of this, I'm going vegan. Dearest, I love you. I do. Just please, please, please try to think a little more next time. Or better yet, don't think. Just get me a freaking gift card. Maybe to Bed Bath & Beyond? I need some towels. Sincerely, me.